okay so hey guys we are back with romance kingdom i guess sweet destiny sugar sweet destiny but um so right now i'm still not sure who i want to go for but i'm either going for rachel or marcus um and here i wanted to choose of course because i haven't chosen that choice ever so i basically want to prep myself and see the options for when i do choose this kid if i do have an option to choose him so yeah so i'll say of course all right then i'll see you later lola oh that's it i even do go there <laughs> i'll just break his heart more okay okay so i'm going to go to that's why it gets hard okay so i'll say look around first because then like, the fencing option comes anyways i'm here busy eating popcorn so i'm playing this I would say this option still. I think I've said all of these options before, so... Okay, so here I'm going to say I want to make friends. I want to make friends. Why do you think friends think... Oh, it's just basically the same thing. To so become the very best. Give it your all against the odds. I see. So, yeah, I'm the same. I can take it from here. Okay, ritual appears out of nowhere. I'm only going to read the parts that are seem new. So far, everything seems the same. Okay, so this time I'll say I'll get there one day. Oh, that's it. Let's finish. Literally, these choices do nothing unless it's like giving me more points to go towards her direction or further. I wonder if you can hear that construction going on. <laughs> I think I'll go to the garden this time because I did promise him to go to the garden. Uh, I want to see how, what, what, will, what will happen later because I still have one more person before him. If I go, I say I'm going to go to the garden, then I don't go to the garden. So we'll see. Okay, so this part still seems the same. Okay, I'll say I came to see you. I just came to see you. Uh, I see. Uh, come on. Come on in. But uh, I, I was just taking care of some weeds. So I have grass and that all over. All over. Goodness, of course, that doesn't mean I am not glad to see you. So what I'm saying is, would you like to take a look around? There are plenty of plants I've looky, oh, looked after. Okay, so this maybe still seems the same? Yeah, it still seems the same. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I forget the choices. Because I think Rachel is in my class, right? Okay, I'm gonna say uh, roam other classes and see what choices I get with that. Ah! That's interesting, I only get one choice here. Where is all this noise coming from? This, this couldn't be no noise from the baking class. It sounds more like a movie premiere or I get... Or I get it. Oh! I might end up choosing him if this is the case because I think so far I'm fine with the choices I chose with him. President Madeleine shows, uh, shows us what you're making. Feast your eyes upon these. The softest and airiest of mad... I never know how to say this word. Ma but, ma this, this cookie thing. <laughs> Lighter than the cloud in the sky. Made you... you, you Made using my family's very own special recipe, of course. They look fabulous. Such taste, tasty treats deserving deserve a cup of tea. I will make you some. What tea? No, 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 no. These snacks are perfection. Deserve to be eaten with hot coffee. A coffee of espresso may be suitable as well. Everyone's too busy focusing on markers, not on their own efforts. Jeez, with this many people around, it's po possible to bake. It's impossible to bake even a single cupcake. Man, I really want cupcake, man. Oh, this game sometimes makes me want to eat. Um, who oh, spilled sprinkles onto my perfect fluffy wh whipped cream? It's ruined. I'm doomed. What's that? Kaboom! <laughs> the cream's gonna, <laughs> the cream's gonna explode. Everyone's, everyone get down, take cover. You know how people suddenly move in slow motion in the movies? It was too late for me to duck and cover. I could see myself becoming a mess in three, two... Lola, watch out! Ah, that sound. 
does not sound good. Okay, let's just continue. Marcus! Oh, Marcus? Are you okay? <gasps> what? What? What are these choices? Okay, I'm gonna get on my knees and beg for mercy. <laughs> I'm gonna always choose the opposite of what I think is correct because this game is opposite to my brain. Um, I got on my knees and beg f and began to beg for mercy. Oh no! Why am I so clumsy? I shouldn't have just stood there though. Uh, stood there. Uh, no worries, it was my decision to jump in. But your wonderful hair is a mess, all because I was too slow. Oh man, I'm breaking out in another sweat. President Maradine, please, come this way. We must get you cleaned up. Marcus and the Vice President step out. Lola, how could you? I could. I also stepped out, well, m more like rain out, with angered fans of Marcus in, in hot pursuit. Why does stuff like this happen to me? Oof, baking isn't f for the faint of heart. <laughs> After catching my breath, I finally whipped off the remaining of the whipped cream stain on my uniform. <sighs> because of that whipped cream fiasco, I am nowhere close to figuring out who gave me those chocolates. Wait, what? Maybe I'll have better luck tomorrow. Interesting, I didn't get anything there. Wait, do I get something before? I always forget. I'm going to choose the mirrorless... Oh wait, no, 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 the piano in the student council room. Because that's most likely Marcus's story. The mirrorless ba ballet studio, I'm assuming, might be Rachel's, but I'm not sure. The student council office was empty. Except for a lone piano. There wasn't a soul in sight, but they say you can hear the piano playing. A piano playing on its own in the student council office? I swear it's true. And the piano plays, playing was pretty decent too. But what about the president and the vice president? Are they, they, are, aren't they in there? I can't imagine a ghost or something paranormal active or some paranormal activity with the two of them there especially because the two flashiness of an indifference it's true i tell you every single day really really so you're telling me if i go there right now the piano will be playing on its own wanna bet fine i'll do your homework for a week if it's not today you're on no boxes oh interesting no other choice there i should i should honestly build a school I need to build a school, and I mean it seems. <laughs> I've been meaning to build my school for a while, but I have to go back to my school to get reference, because I haven't been there since my brother graduated, which was, I think, 2019? I don't know, I forget. And I didn't even get to go to all the classes. Well, I did, but it was different. Anyways, so this is the student council office. No one's here, and um, <laughs> the piano's silent too. Oh, piano playing on its own, what nonsense. Oh? Okay, that's definitely the sound of a piano. Ah, what's going on? <laughs> of course I'm choosing his option. <laughs> oh, Marcus is supposed to be after Rachel, but oh well, here we are. Wait, what? Did you just walk out of the wall? A few moments later, so your auntie's love listens to piano and they make they made a secret room for you to practice in that makes sense then what's the piano out there for oh that that's for official recitals i see i didn't know that my practice in secret was the source of such ghost stories this complicates things perhaps i should stop practicing discreetly what do you think lola uh Hmm, I'm sure this is going to be a bad choice, but I'm going to say I'll keep this a secret if. <laughs> if you let me use this office. Pardon? <laughs> this is probably going to be a bad ending. It's fine. It's good if I get at least one bad ending each, each rerun. Um, you know what they say. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Marcus's usual beaming smile slowly turns into a frown. <laughs> Are you proposing that you, Lola, by giving access to use this room when President Madeleine is practicing? Wait, wait, you're here? When you put it like that, it sounds, uh, oh, Vice President? Yeah, I'm like, I didn't even freaking know you're here. 
Did I not warn you, Mr. President, that your discreet piano activities could be divulged in uh, in ad that sentence? My brain cannot inadvertently at some point. <laughs> It's not like playing the piano is against the rules, nor is it a crime. The vice president was here all this time too. Lola, if you could please exit the premises. The student council president deserves a se severe reprimanding of his activities. What? Wait, when is this band ending coming? Because... Mm, is this a good ending somehow? As soon as I, I exited, the door slowly closed behind me. The vice president scared me, scares me, like legit scares me. Oh, I can't believe that story was about a student I know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how am I cover, covering this one up? Because we are more than one person here. Oh, <gasps> wait, what? You mean I missed a scene while I did that? Oh my god, the longer it, the no, more days it has, it's more complicated. So if I had opened the curtains, there's a chance I would have seen her there. Are those curtains only for him? I doubt that's the case. I'll write down my symptoms this time because I've never done that. I wrote down my symptoms in advance for the nurse to look at. As I jogged down what I was feeling, a well-kept and handsome hand reached out, snatching away the memo pad. Hi! Do you always come or is this just because of the choices I have chosen? Oh dear, what a shame. These symptoms, I could recognize these symptoms anywhere. You're lovesick. What? Marcus? So Marcus was in one of the beds. Huh? I am confused as well because even there was no option to, for me to freaking open the curtains apparently. What are you doing in the nurse's office? Are you sick? Are you hurt? Taking care of my fans has taken a toll on my body and I'm here in the nurse's office to recu recuperate. But here in the front of me is a student who needs care more than I more than I. It's only natural that I make way for you to rest. Come, the bed is all yours. <laughs> then can we sit together, can't we? Uh I need a place to rest and you need a place to hide. Oh, essentially. I sat on the bed next to Marcus. I also shut the curtains. The curtains did bring a sense of privacy, a silent bliss. Oh, well, this is a side of you I have not seen before. Wait, what, boys? What is that supposed to mean? People are always so flustered and shy when it's just the two of us. Is it the shade from the curtains? Marcus looks a bit different. Well, you're your own person, Lola, and there's nothing wrong with that. I may not have had the chance to get to know you, Lola. But I have seen the way other students share conversations with you. You're a good, kind-hearted listener for your fellow students. You have left quite an impression for I am convinced you are a pure, gentle, and honest soul. Marcus gazed into my eyes and... Wait, what? What's happening right now? Marcus, you should be all rested up by now. Oh, okay. Uh, no more darling huh, and oh, another student was there. I wasn't feeling too good and Marcus was kind enough to let me sit down. Oh yes, of course I did. Um, thank you so much, good nurse. I shall take my leave. Goodbye, fellow student. Marcus marches out of the nurse's office. What, what was that? What just happened? What? Yeah, what the hell just happened? Oh shit, this is the last day so I actually have to choose someone. Okay, so it literally shows everyone. Okay, so we're gonna go with Marcus because clearly <laughs> it wasn't we were supposed to go for, but it just makes sense. <laughs> I need to meet up with Marcus. He may be popular, famous even, but and handsome, but his roaring fans may also be near him and we'll never be alone together, but I don't care. That's right. I don't care at all. I went towards the student council office. Marcus, Marcus! How does he not even have privacy while he's in here? As always, well the student council office was already packed with the fan club. Next in line, please. What have you brought? A gift for lovely, lovely Davi. Oh my god, this, this, this lovely Davi sweet cute sweetie cutie desante or letters. Whatever it is, we'll take it. We are filtering out the bad ones. No, stop. I have to speak with 
him in person get in line you are not the only one there's there's a process to this i said a set of rules oh okay marcus is already busy enough as it is that's not fair let marcus himself decide if it's worth his time not you back of the line come on seriously you're just gonna ruin everything yeah oh okay what's going on huh Lola? Marcus tries shoving his way through the massive crowd. I have something to tell you, please. Accept my l I am literally just saying it out here like... Okay. Welcome. Okay. Accept my love. <laughs> Marcus stood there almost dumbfounded. He blinked once, twice, and nothing else. Hmm. I too have great feelings towards you, Lola. But my feelings are of students com... 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 hey! Com... That word, com camaraderie, <laughs> respect as a fellow student of our private school, and this is how I feel about every fellow student. If I have done nothing to lead you d down this path of misunderstanding, then I truly do apologize. My legs get sudden, sudden <laughs> my legs just suddenly stop working. I collapse on the floor. another one a bit early in this school year too want my advice go home relax and maybe pull the covers over your face and scream into them for like an hour it literally helps it's a good opportunity to to officially sign up for our fan club too we have a uh, no making fun of <laughs> lovesick member rule if you want to join now just sign here here and here <laughs> As if I, I felt as if my soul left my body as my arms <laughs> through the effort of my own abs, uh, uh, absently signed on the dotted line of, of the fan club contract. I soon found myself walking slowly towards the door. I think it's I will transfer schools. Yeah, bad ending. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, how am I going through that and I'm not getting a bad, bad, bad ending? I have a feeling he has a lot of bad endings and I'm just like, I'm not even really, I'm not, I'm not willing to go through that whole shit. I had a feeling, that's why I technically wanted to go for Rachel, but I was like, I'm getting a lot of his things, so it just makes sense for me to, to go through the whole situation with him. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. It's been quite some time. And I will try to go for Rachel this time. Marcus, do not distract me, you stupid shit, okay? <laughs> You're probably the one who has like 10 bad endings or some shit. But we'll figure it out. I'm so curious what choice down the line I could have been able to do in order to like get him on my side. Because I'm assuming there has to be a happy ending, but that wasn't one of them. So I'll see you in the next part. Toodles. <laughs>